Okay, doing an extrusion on an on-shape model. So we have a basic model here that I've created. Um, it's got some interesting characteristics, but we're going to do an extrusion and we'll cut through this model uh, to develop uh, that uh, aspect. So we're going to cut a slot in the bottom of this model. So to do that, we're going to choose a sketch and apply the sketch on the surface that we're going to extrude. You can see that we've got a new sketch plane that was just developed here. We'll look at the right hand side so that way we're looking directly on it. I'm going to go ahead and create the shape or the, of the object that we're going to cut through which in this case is going to be a simple rectangle and we're going to use the uh, dimensioning tool and dimension it from uh, the front surface or from this edge to the location and we got uh, basically 0.3 here and then from here to the back, uh, we've got roughly 391, or we can do about 0 0.40. Now the other aspect is that we need to do the depth of the cut, and so the depth of this cut is going to be uh, 0.3125, so 3 16 of an inch uh, is what our cut is going to be. Actually a little bit bigger than quarter inch, so it's going to be, yeah. Uh, almost 3 8 375 is 3 8 let's make that 375 instead so 0.375 so again on shape being what it is it allows you to, to update and make your modifications so now that we've got this sketch created and it is um, constrained we don't have to constrain the overall distance here because this is basically just going to cut air on the bottom so it can be any distance off the bottom so I'm going to go back to a three-dimensional view on the part and I'm going to choose the OK on the sketch. So I'm going to go to from the sketch level back to the uh, model level. I'm going to choose Extrude. So Extrude, there is New, Add, Remove. Uh, and so I'm going to go to the Remove option on the Extrude. And I'm going to select this, the area that I want to remove. Now when I choose the remove option, it also gives me the depth, or I can choose um, all the way through, uh, or a second position that I want it to cut to, if there's another plane that we need to have it cut to, that kind of thing. In this case, I can give it a depth all the way through the part, or I can choose merge all the way through. If I choose merge all the way through, uh, merge with all. I can also just grab the arrow and bring it all the way through the part. And if I spin around to the other side, you'll be able to see that it actually cut this all the way through. And it told me what the distance is when I grab that arrow. So I just left mouse click, held, and dragged the arrow. But the key is choosing the remove option and not the add option or the new option. And so as long as this works with that. The merge did not work, so just FYI. Um, so I, I'm going to take that off. I'll keep it at 5.74. I'll choose OK. And there you have it. We have an extrude cut uh, in the Onshape software. Have a great day. We'll be talking to you soon. Bye now.